Okay, I'm gonna explain to you some stuff about the existing exterior GFI plug outside there on the deck. And I'm explaining inside because it's noisy out there because the deck is fairly close to the road. Okay, so um, I hope you catch this. Let's just make believe this is the existing GFI plug. Now, in a, with the GFI plug, we can't make half of it hot all the time and one side working with the new light switch. Um, there's no way to do that. So what we have to do is we have to install another plug next to it. This is just going to be a regular plug and we'll have the GFI plug. We're going to take the power from the GFI plug and then we're going to hook it up and I'll, and I'll, I'll explain that to you later but we're going to take it out of the GFI plug so that it goes into the new plug. That way this new plug will still be like GFI protected because we're hooking it directly into there. Then from this plug we have to go up out, of a, out to a new light switch on the inside of the condo. Then the new light switch will then come down and it will control only part of this plug. We'll either make the top hot all the time and, and the bottom uh, working with the light switch only or vice versa. And the way to do that is there's a little tab on the side here. We're going to break that off so that when the light switch, so that when we turn the light switch on, the light switch will control this. So when the light switch is off, this bottom of the plug will be off all the time. The top of the plug will still be hot at all times. Does that make sense? Yes, you can do that with the, with the plug. Did you know that? Lots of your bedroom uh, plugs are like that next to your beds or next to your couch. If you ever have a light switch and you turn it on, off, on, off, and you don't know what it's for, chances are it's for half of the plug next to your couch or next to your bed. There, you just learned a tip today.